guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday. I am leaving Target. Brian is at home with the boys. I just dropped Ethan off at school at 8. Wow, I've been at Target for 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just haven't been feeling well. I have a really bad headache on top of like really bad cramps. And for whatever reason, whenever I cramp, like it's a steady, constant pain that doesn't go away like it's not come and go it's not throbbing it's just a steady constant pain that doesn't go away it hurts when i take a big like when i inhale a deep breath it hurts when i stretch it hurts when i stand up straight like and i get the headache every single month along with my period as well so every single month when it's my period of time i get that terrible cramp on top of a really bad headache that doesn't go away for like two days don't know what it is i don't know why could be the birth control who knows but for whatever reason anyways so i came to target for tylenol y'all okay this one's understandable i remembered king needed diapers but y'all i came for tylenol and i bought me these little shoes right here and picked up this powder foundation in my shade because if y'all know I said that I really really like this powder so this is light and whenever I get home I'll show you guys the difference between light and or between light and fair because medium was super dark and so yeah it's crazy they only have three shades of they only have three shades of that powder but yeah it's crazy I just thought it was funny because I only came for Tylenol and I spent 45 bucks <laughs> That's terrible. All right, I'm about to call Brian, see if he wants me to get breakfast or anything and then go back home. I'm about to show you guys the difference in these. This one is fair and this one is light. So in case you needed a color reference, that is the difference in those. I'm still gonna keep fair for under my eyes and then use light for all over my face because that really is a good powder. If you watched my October favorites, you would know currently about to start editing if i could get this to open i already had to restart the computer because iMovie be trying to play me iMovie really be trying to play me so yeah i already had to restart but yeah, i'm gonna edit get today's video up it's not it's just my october favorite so it shouldn't take long at all to edit i'm just gonna insert the name of the product and how much it cost and Put some music over it cut out parts where i'm getting on to the boys as always <laughs> um yeah this is pretty much it you guys and then probably i really need to go to tj maxx for a video that raquel and i are doing but brian's gonna take the boys out the house for a little bit so that way i can rest and just probably go back to sleep y'all because that's that's the only way i like to deal with pain i did go ahead and take two tylenol just because i've been in pain for over 24 hours so because of that i did go ahead and take two tylenol i really try not to take medicine you guys like it's tylenol anything like that is my last resort i will use oils i will use sleep i will not use i do not like to take medicine very often so yeah that's what i'm doing right now i'm about to edit and I'm gonna try to get this video up by 11. let's see if i can do it um I need to import this vlog footage already but yeah I'll see you guys in a bit. Um, let you guys know how my day is going. See if I go to TJ Maxx. Tomorrow's laundry day, so I know I can't go to TJ Maxx tomorrow. So if I don't make it today, TJ Maxx will have to wait till Wednesday. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey okay, guys, so I just finished uploading today's video and doing my read and write the word for yesterday and the day because I didn't do it yesterday because like I said I was pretty much out of it all day yesterday but you guys I put on my new little house shoes mm, I love these I haven't had house shoes in a long time and my got me some for blessings month last year Guys, Blessings Month for us is the month of December. We don't celebrate Christmas. We celebrate a month of gifting in remembrance of Christ and what he did for us. Um, so, yeah. Uh, ow. <clears throat> I applied some essential oils to my bikini line where your ovaries are to see if that would help the pain. 
it usually does, but it's just taking a little while. My headache is still there. I did take two Tylenols. Um, my headache is still there, but it's not as intense. It's like faint, but it's there. Um, I have to have Brian bring me my great brown chair to edit because my body is just not feeling it. Um, he asked me though, I need to get my tripod. He asked me though if I would refill the, uh, restock the fridge with water. So I'm about to do that before he gets home. I just got the notification that he finished one of his workouts. So that means he should be heading home any minute. For sure by 12. Um, so yeah, about to restock the fridge with water. And then when the boys get here, they are going to pick up all their toys out of my room. <sighs> yeah. They just left all their breakfast on the table. Ugh. Yeah, Ryan don't ever close cabinets. Like, who else's husband is like that? Like, and it's such a weird pet peeve. Like, I hate cabinets being left open. Like, I don't know. But yeah. Let me go ahead and put more water in there. Oh, he just finished his cardio. Let me hurry up. Oh my gosh, we have so many leftovers, yo. Might have Brian take some to my bed. That is done. I'm about to put all of the boys' breakfast that they didn't finish in a baggie, and they can either eat that for a snack or tomorrow for breakfast. So I'm gonna put their breakfast that they didn't finish in a baggie, and Brian is going to take these leftovers to my dad. So that way he can have dinner with my aunt instead of them always eating out or him having to cook. They're literally only a day old. I never give my dad like super old leftovers. So for lunch, Brian and I will have pot roast. I'm probably just gonna make ramen for dinner. Probably, yeah, probably just make ramen and pot stickers. Um, that sounds good. And make the boys chicken nuggets and corn or something like that for dinner. Like I said, clean off the table and then go back to the room and edit tomorrow's video because at least since Brian's home, I can edit. Even though I can't do much else, that's all I can do. Cause I'm really in pain, y'all. Like, I'm not in pain often and I don't complain about being sick often, but <sighs> this ovary pain, like I said. Okay, it's not like cramps. I've, I should have said that earlier. It's not like cramps, it's like a soreness. Like if you worked that muscle out and it's constantly sore, but it's like super intensely sore, like. I don't know if you've ever been so sore to where you can't walk, like your like your legs have been so sore to where you can't walk. That's how that feels. Like that's why I'm kind of hunched over because it hurts to like stand up straight for a while because it's like I'm stretching that area out. I don't know, it's so weird. So yeah, I'm gonna do all this you guys and then get back to editing. So I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>
part about Brian being home is he reminds me to eat all three meals of the day. I'm being fat today and eating cheese, double cheeseburger and fries. And I got a Sprite, just, I don't know, Sprite? Sprite is just always good when you don't feel good. Like who feels me on that? <laughs> but yeah, I'm still editing y'all. Doing the Jesus chats. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Who are you talking to? The camera. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm about to finish editing and get this video up and I'm gonna rest. I am going to lay down and rest. This is probably one of my longer Jesus Chats videos because it's like 20 minutes, so yeah. Hey guys, we are headed to the gym now. I still don't feel 100%, but they say that if you work out while you're on your womanly, that it eases the pain. So I'm gonna work out and pray for the best because this is terrible. Yeah. Working out with prayer is the best thing I can do. <laughs> that is funny. We got the whole gang. Person. Oh yeah, he has a seatbelt on. Hi. Ethan. Ethan, come over here, say hi. 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 Kingy, say hi, King. <laughs> hi. He's drinking. He's drinking. My right boo. Now. Say hi, hey. boo. Hi, boo. <laughs> hi, boo. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all. Uh, now get you're there. funny.
Hey guys, so after I fixed my, good morning, by the way. So after I fixed the bed, I did a story on Instagram and then I did a story on Snapchat and then I did my read and write the word and then I got all the boys dressed and then we all went to drop off Ethan. And I've been doing, today's Tuesday, so I've been doing laundry all morning already since 5.30. So my second load is in the dryer now. My third load is in the washer, so. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm about to straighten my hair. I really need to go to TJ Maxx for um, that video Raquel and I are doing. And then I need to go to Target just to get some things. And I really want to get that done today because Lord knows how tomorrow is going to be. I forgot today was election day yesterday whenever I was talking. So I really want to get that done today. Brian and I don't plan on going to the gym. I think we're just going to spend some time in prayer today. So that may just be what we do. Um, but yeah, laundry, it's, it's laundry day. Laundry day is in full effect. After the load that's in the washer, I have the boys laundry to do. And that's it. So yeah, I have our, I have our light colors in the dryer, our dark colors in the washer, and then the boys laundry is next. So yeah. That should be, I actually might need to get it out here in a second because it's about to be an hour that the clothes has been in the dryer. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm about to straighten my hair right now if I don't have to switch loads. Um, so yeah, I try to switch loads right on time so that way I can keep track of like, okay, when will I be done? So currently right now I have two to three more hours of laundry left to do depending on how much clothes the boys have. If the boys have a lot of clothes, I have to split that up into two so that'll make it three more hours of laundry that I have to do. If I don't have to split it up, it'll be two more hours that I have to do. And that's not bad. Not at all, because that means I'd be done by 11 o'clock. Hopefully. Good morning, guys. So it is Thursday the 5th. Um, on um, Tuesday, I ended up after... I don't know what my last update was on Tuesday. But anyways, on Tuesday, I ended up just going... Just praying all day over the election. And then... I actually went to prayer with a friend at her church over the election and then after that it was kind of just like go 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 and then I started to not feel good Tuesday night and then yesterday I didn't really feel good but today I'm feeling better so that's a plus um yeah so I'm about to do my little morning routine I just got back from putting air in the tires uh for the car because some things be tripping with this West Texas weather so yeah, I'm about to fix my bed, brush my teeth and wash my face, get dressed to work out, do my reading and writing, and then work out. So, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I literally just dropped Ethan off. I thought we made it in time, but cause they usually keep the doors open. Cause at Ethan's school, you have to do the carpool, I've showed you guys. So whenever you drop them off, they're waiting at those three doors. And so, and then they take every kid's temperature before they even remove them from the car. And they're usually there till 8, 10, because that's when Ethan's considered late and they stop serving breakfast. I got there right at 8, I think I got there at 8.05 and they done closed that door, y'all. So, it was a little bit late today, but that wasn't my fault. They should have still been out there. But yeah, I had just, I finished my workout right at 8 o'clock. I don't know what be taking long like time be flying in the morning and I'd be like oh it's only gonna take me 10 minutes to fix the bed and brush my teeth and change fixing the bed ends up taking 10 minutes itself because I'm such a perfectionist and then y'all look at this hair I don't ever drop Ethan off looking like this they're probably like what is wrong with her today workout clothes I look like I just worked out like ever drop him off looking like this but that glow okay skincare come through but yeah i'm taking brian his charger right now that he forgot it's hot taking brian his charger that he forgot and then heading back home i'm gonna edit today's video which won't take long i did the one dip challenge and everybody in the house was asleep whenever i filmed it so there's not gonna be much editing that i have to do other than maybe like speeding a couple of things up, but I literally filmed that video in 30 minutes. 
And in that video I was saying like I really want to do like the one take get ready with me. But I'm like y'all with my kids like they'd have to be asleep or out the house or Brian would have to be home to do a one take get ready with me and basically okay baby we'll go later. We'll go to the store in a minute. We're gonna go to TJ Maxx today. Yeah, we're gonna go to the store in a minute. kids ever just be trying y'all like i'm trying to get out the house to go to tj maxx to see what time i'm done with tj maxx to see if i'm gonna work today or not and i come out the bathroom literally two seconds that king was not in my like in my vision or like right around me he had a bag of chips ruffle or what are they called wavy lays and i could already tell in the bag that they were kind of crushed up and i didn't want to give them to him but i was like <sighs> Let me just give them to him. Come out the bathroom. And he has this mess of lays on the carpet. It don't look too bad now because I done picked up most of them, put them back in the bag and threw them away. But there's a huge mess of lays. Mind you, yesterday morning, I go into their room and they have a bag of popcorners. They're the chip, they're the like popcorn chips in their room, crushed up, thrown all around the floor. I keep telling myself they're not allowed to eat anything anywhere other than the table. Snacks, breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything. And I keep giving in to letting them walk around with snacks. And this is what I get. So now I have to vacuum my room. And King's in timeout because I love him. But y'all, he be trying me. He really be trying me. Hey guys, we are here at TJ Maxx. Brian said he's not getting off till 430, which is a blessing because I worked 12 to 2. So I didn't get to come before that. So you're here at TJ Maxx now. It's currently 326. So I have about 45 minutes to get in and out to see what I can find for Kill. <sighs> I got all the boys with me. So hey. this is going to be. <laughs> Hi. So this is going to be a fun little TJ Maxx trip. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get in here. I have to keep tally of what I'm buying so I won't do a shop with me. Also, it looks packed. I kind of got to poop, y'all. But yeah let's go ahead and go into tj maxx all right you guys so we are home been home that is raquel's box right there it is stuffed you guys like stuffed but um i'm about to work out <laughs> um again for the second time today because i only worked out monday and this morning and i usually work out four times a week so i'm working out again tonight and then i'll work out tomorrow and that'll be my four workouts. So I'm doing a workout with Sydney Cummings right now. So I gotta go, you guys. But you guys can watch, as always.
good morning guys so i have actually been up since 4 30 this morning um i had to go to the bathroom so <laughs> i went to the bathroom and once i go to the bathroom in the morning like i'm up for the day so yeah i've been up since 4 30 but i actually went to bed at like 10 30 last night so i don't feel too bad <sighs> today we got kind of a busy day so i'm gonna change fix the bed change and then um do my reading and writing and work out but really fast before i start that i'm i need to uh change the air filter in the house because i woke up a little bit like itchy and stuffy and that usually means our air filter needs to be changed so i'm about to change that fix our bed and yeah it's a huge but i need to hurry up because i really only have 10 minutes today <laughs> So other than any of the usual other morning stuff, um, I have to mail off Raquel's package as well as I need to um, go to discount tires because our front tire keeps leaking air. I just hate it because they're always so busy and it never matters which one you go to. They're just always so freaking busy and it's annoying. So yeah, I'm about to change to get ready to work out and then um, and then sit down and do my reading and writing. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. We're stopped you guys. We're waiting in line at discount tires. That's why he is up because in my vlogs y'all he be trying to make it seem like I don't like to buckle up my kids. He be trying me. Don't you Bryson? You be trying me, huh? Don't you? You ain't cute. You're funny. <laughs> You're funny. No, no, you're not. No, not. Yeah, we're here at Discount Tires now. It's 8.28. We'll see what time I get out of here, but... <sighs> hopefully here come these people to help me. I don't know how long we're going to be here. Probably an hour, two hours, so... I'm about to do a poll on Instagram and see if people like when I upload my vlogs on Saturdays better or Fridays better because quite frankly, Saturdays might be better, excuse me, better for me, but if it gets uploaded today, Alexander, no sir. So yeah, here comes somebody to help me. Anyways, if it gets uploaded on Friday, it's usually late. Talk to y'all later. All right, you guys, so we came home for about an hour. The guy was like, you can go ahead and go home. He was like, we're not gonna be done until 10.30 and I don't want you here waiting that entire time. So if you could come back at 9.30. So I was like, okay. Um, I'm actually on a liquid diet today. I am fasting and praying. Um, I don't mind sharing that on here because you guys won't know while I'm doing it. If you guys ever want me to do a video more in depth on fasting, now that I know and understand a little bit more, let me know. But today, anyways, I'm doing protein, only protein shakes, smoothies, and other fluids, but like no junk fluids. So I'll be drinking my aminos, maybe a glass of wine, but like no tea, no juice, no soda, and everything healthy today. So... Just for today, just praying over everything for peace, for understanding, for this election. Um, and for other people's heart, because I feel like we're really in a place where, like, let's say you're a Biden supporter, then you like hate Trump people and, and Trump supporters are starting to like despise Biden voters. And it's just like, me personally, I stand on the side of God. So whoever to me has, I'll take as much God as I can get. And that even means out of other people. So with that being said, whoever has the policies that line up the most with the word of God, that's who I stand by. And that's all I'm going to say. So, yeah, but I feel like America is getting in a place of a lot of hate and I don't see how you can sit here and be like, oh, I'm for 
I'm for Biden because Trump is a racist, but like Biden supporters are like discriminating against Trump supporters. Like, what's the difference? Like, like what's the difference of you showing hate to somebody because of who they are or what they stand for? That's the same thing as being a racist. Um, it's discrimination. That's all racism is, is discrimination. Um, but yeah, that's just... Y'all, that's just how I see it. And you don't have to agree with me. And I, like I said, I love everybody. And I will respect everybody because at the end of the day, we're all created in the image of God. And at the end of the day, we have to treat each other as such. Because if God created us all in his image, then that means we're all worthy of respect and honor and love. So that's how I treat everybody. So I don't... Um, anyways, I do... One girl did say something that I kind of, that did kind of sit with me, like, when did we sit here? Like, 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 when did people start to tell each other who they voted for? And when did you start to treat others badly because of who they voted for? Like, when did that happen? Like, 2020 has just brought out the ugliest in everybody and evil. And I feel like that's just what 2020 has revealed. Like, all the evil in others that you know personally and all the evil that goes on behind the scenes in the media like i think that's all it did reveal so i'm gonna be praying over all of that you guys and just people's hearts towards one another during this time because i know i've caught myself like if somebody says something i disagree with and, and it can go for trump or for biden like either side like if they say something that, that that like remotely has to do with hate or discrimination like it bothers me and it makes me so mad and i shouldn't because vengeance is the lord's so there is righteous anger but it should never make me mad to where like i'm rolling my eyes 24 7 so yeah praying for my own heart and other people's heart um i'm about to the boys are eating breakfast i'm about to down this shake see how much editing i can get done in about 20 minutes and then head back to uh discount tire to get this tire fixed so yeah i'll see you guys later